In today's mini tutorial, you are going to learn where to find the new text effect of creating a shape behind your words. This effect will be a time saver because it will eliminate grouping text and shapes together, searching for specific shapes, and time spent sizing that shape to the words. You will also learn a hack to help you create a custom shape. Let's get started. Where can you find it? Typing T and it pulls up a text box. If your keyboard shortcut isn't working, then go over here, text, add a heading, new text effect. Go to effects and you will find one called background. Some of you may not have this yet, but I'm hoping that by the time this premieres that everybody will have it. A little later on, I'm gonna talk about a hack about how you can use this shape in other projects without the words. So stay tuned for that. First, the roundness automatically is here at 50. You can make it a rectangle and slightly rounded and so on until it is a pill shape. You can change the thickness of the shape behind it and you can make it really big or closer to the text, which in this case actually doesn't work with it being italicized. Let's change that. Effects, let's change the spread just a little bigger. The other thing you can do is change the transparency of the box behind it. Let's make this white effects. So there it is in white, there it is slightly transparent. The difference is between this transparency and this one is this one will change the transparency of everything, where this only changes the transparency of the text behind it. The other thing that you can do is you can add a curve to it. In terms of effects, like animations, let me just go through and if you block it, it blocks kind of the whole thing. Typewriter, just the text. Ascend, just the text. Bounce. We're just gonna go through them all. Breathe moves the whole. Fade moves everything. Pan moves everything. The first bit, just moves the letters and the second bit moves everything. I believe it would be the same thing with all the pro. Yep, so that's that. Now I mentioned a hack. When you have a shape behind it, you can't add any other effects. When you change it, it automatically takes the background away. How can you fix that? Change the text to the same color as the background. You have a custom shape. So now I'm gonna take this one, turn off the effect, and put it on top, send it backwards. Here's the text effect there, or the separate text box. And now I can add a shadow to it, a lift to it. I could splice it at this point. I'm trying to figure out uh, there's one and at that point group both of them together. The second idea I have for you is how to be able to create custom shapes. Now whatever you type that's how long your shape's gonna be. Do you see what I mean? So there it is line so you've got a cute little shape there and depending on your size. Well how would I make that a shape. Well, you just change the color of your letter and bam. So now I've got that shape. I can duplicate it and watch. I can size it however I like. What did you think of the new text effect and hack I created for custom shapes? Have you gotten the new background text effect yet? Remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on future Canva tutorials. I recommend you watch one of these lessons right now, and I'll see you next time. Bye!